Hello, and welcome to another food review with me, John. Today I have... Drake. That? Drake. Never yes. met this guy before. Um, actually... You may remember me from my hilarious parody review of me eating um, at a gas station sandwich. So, today we are at Sonic, of course, because you saw me holding up the thing. Uh, we have two different beverages that we're going to review. As well as a new flavor of boneless chicken wings they have. So, Drake, describe what you have there. Oreo cake shake. There are bits of Oreo, bits of cake, and um, that's about all I know. Garnished with the cherry quite nicely. Right, let's taste it and tell me what you think. Let's eat the cherry first. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Typical maraschino. Have you ever had a maraschino that tasted different than any other maraschino you've ever had? Never. More cake than Oreo. More cake than not, Oreo. Not saying that's a bad thing, because I do like the taste of cake. Let's move this camera over, because you're really like, at the edge. Oh, sorry. <laughs> One thing Tom told me was to try to get myself in the center. I think since there's two of us, we need to be a little bit. It spread. looks more like a sauna commercial this way. Yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> so we're not. So I mean, if you happen to get a sip with an Oreo cookie in it, you'll taste it. But if you don't, then it like, tastes it's like cake, like birthday cake, like birthday like cake, yellow cake with sprinkles on it. Yeah, essentially just your generic everyday birthday cake. It's not bad though. What will, what will you I rate think. That? Um, I think if given the choice, I probably would take the strawberry shortcake one. Yeah, they instead. got a vanilla birthday cake and a strawberry shortcake one. And everything also is available in waffle cones. Uh huh. But I chose this because I like Oreos. Looks like they also have like a waffle berry brownie cake and a peanut butter brownie cake. You Ooh. know. I haven't had a lot of birthday cake ice cream to really safely base my judgment off of. It looks but kind of soupy. Is that not it, as thick as I? It, it's it's not thick at all. It's it's actually. You can see the consistency. It's just, just very nice sound effect. milky. Now, do we have a appropriate sound effect here? <laughs> yeah, for your. Uh, uh. <laughs> I don't know. In general, the taste is good. I mean, it could be a little bit thicker, but I guess that's preference. I mean, you might like a thicker shake than other people. You might like a thinner shake than other people. Yeah. Taste-wise, you know, it's good. I'll be honest, but I don't have a lot to base it off of. I'd, I'd say a fair guess would be 7.5 seven and a half out of 10. Mind if I give this a taste? Absolutely. We're brothers. Everyone needs a second opinion. You said you taste more cake than Oreo? Yeah. You may have gotten a chunk of Oreo. <laughs> I was like, I got a big taste of Oreo when I tasted that you one. You may have gotten a chunk, because I took a sip with a chunk and it tasted like Oreo. But if you don't get it, then it just tastes like cake. Yeah. It is, uh, like, I like my, uh, uh, shakes a little more thick, too. Yeah. Definitely. Give me the option of using a spoon if you want to. Always good to have. Alright, so you said, uh, Six and a half? Seven and a half. Seven and a half? Seven and a half. Not that mean. Not that mean. So what I got at Sonic, uh, I got a green apple slushy, and they're advertising that they have like these additional candies you can add. You can add Nerds, Jolly Rancher pieces, or what I got was popping candies. And I can kind of hear it popping. So let's see if I slurp some up, it'll pop my mouth. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. A little bit. I hear yeah. it. I don't know if, uh, do you like Pop Rocks and stuff like that? Eh, uh, they're alright. Not the biggest fan. More of a novelty candy than a candy I actually crave. Right. It definitely does not sound like this. <laughs> I 
That's right. <laughs> it does not sound like that. Um, the green apple flavor is pretty good. Um, the Pop Rocks don't really add. Uh, also, I noticed that it doesn't say Pop Rocks. It just says Popping Candy. So I'm not sure, like, could they not get the trademark to say that it's actual Pop Rocks? I have no idea. That sounds like it would be a fair assumption. I know I've never had the Jolly Rancher one. I've gotten the Blue Raspberry with Nerds before. I've gotten the Nerds one. I like the Nerds one. The Nerds is good because you could taste them because you get the crunchiness and it's, yeah. it's really nice. I'm not sure if I would like the Jolly Ranchers because when I think of Jolly Ranchers, they have harder candy. Yeah, getting stuck to your teeth while you're drinking a slushy. Or like choking on a hard piece of candy while you're trying to drink a drink. Yeah. Um, the Pop Rocks don't really add flavor. It adds like, a little of experience. Um, I'm sure like little kids will really like this because they tend to like that kind of novelty to their drink and stuff. Um, as for me, it doesn't really add to the drink itself, so I would only have to judge it on the fact that it is a green apple slushy, and I don't know, it's about a seven. Seven out of ten. Um, so, kind of disappointing. <laughs> what was that supposed to be? <laughs> That's a disappointing applause. I was supposed oh. to do the... Whoops, I pressed pause again. <laughs> Try this third time. <laughs> Disappointing. <laughs> well, you like peppermint candy? Sonic always gives you peppermint candy. No. Yeah, I don't like peppermint candy either. <laughs> anyway. Come on, Sonic. Candy in here. Three peppermint candies. Garbage. Oh, I got a... Oh. On Wednesday, September 23rd, you can get a half-price cone. Depending on if I post this before September 23rd, this information may or may not be useful to you. <laughs> but. May add 2015 for our viewers in the future. Two years from now. Yeah, I, I, I tend not to post my videos, like, very closely to when we I record them. But uh, as of today, this will be the only video that I have that I haven't posted. So, I guess could come up fairly recently as to when I record it. I'll give my initial reaction here to these uh, <laughs> garlic ga garlic parmesan wings. It smells like Buffalo Wild Wings in this car. It yeah. definitely smells like the Buffalo Wild Wings version, which I love. So The, uh, the sauce kind of does not look too appealing. It's, it's thinner. The stuff at Buffalo Wild Wings is a little chunkier. Excuse me. I belched. Huh. <laughs> Go ahead, try. you taste, take one, and I'll take one, taste it together, and then, there we go, there's the bonus wing. Mm. Fairly garlicky. It smelled like buffalo wild wings. The taste wasn't as powerful as the Buffalo Wild Wings sauce, by yeah. any means. Like, you get like a the garlic flavor right when it hits your tongue, mm -hmm. but it's kind of weak and it disappears pretty quickly. Yeah. The well, chicken's good, though. I mean, the, the chicken tastes rather nice. Have another piece? Absolutely. This one's a little bit crispier looking, mm -hmm. much like the church's chicken rather <laughs> than the Popeye's or something. Oh, just so you know, the, uh, the six-piece boneless wings is $4.49 plus tax. I got that one right. <laughs> um, they also have honey barbecue, Asian chili, buffalo, island fire, an extreme habanero heat. Garlic Parmesan is the mildest they offer. <laughs> John probably got that on my behalf. And seeing as though I did not want spicy food. Drake requested no, no spicy food. <clears throat> I don't know. I think it's pretty much what you'd expect to get for wings from Sonic. 
I mean, if you're going to Sonic and you ain't getting a burger or a hot dog, then, I don't know, yeah. do what they do best. I like their breakfast. I've had their uh, French toast sticks before, and it's actually pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. good. I think, like, Sonic usually just go for uh, the drinks. Yeah, that's what they usually advertise. They advertise the hot dogs on TV, too. So what do you, what, uh, what's your rating for the boneless wings here? I'm going to go ahead and say six and a half. Six and a half? Six and a half. Not, not... Not great, but I'd say, you know, it's still above okay. Yeah. I'm right around there with you. I'm going to say six. Just because I think, uh, as far as, like, the flavor enhancement goes, the flavor disappears pretty quickly in your mouth. It does. But, um, yeah, that's all I got to say. You know, anything else to add to this review video? Join us next time. Join us next time on another review. Until then, goodbye.